Exoskeleton Robotic by Group 9. In robotics, exoskeletons are essentially variable robots that attach to the outside of your body like a skin and provide extra power to the normal movement of your muscles. Robotic exoskeletons involve sensors, actuators, mechanical structures, algorithms, and control strategies capable of acquiring information to execute a motor function. Key feature of exoskeletons is the direct interaction between human and device. Interaction of exoskeletons with the user consists of three modules, sensor for receiving information, decision making for interpreting information and organizing activities, execute for driving and providing mechanical power. Application of exoskeleton robots can be found in different parts of our society. According to Korean Industrial Health Association, it was recorded that musculoskeletal disorder or one of the serious injuries accounting for 65.7% among the reported work injuries. Exoskeleton robotics have been applied in the manufacturing and construction industry to prevent and avoid the injuries. For example, HDEX, a clean relieving exoskeleton, has also been made to alleviate the pressure on the lower body. In the military, the soldiers are required to carry heavy loads during the mission. Exoskeleton application in this group allows to reduce the physical strength on the soldiers. Once the skeleton is an exoskeleton that can boost physical strength and endurance, they help prevent overstress and predict users' action by data collection. As we all learned in our first class, exoskeleton can be also used for rehabilitation like hand of hope. Second picture is an exoskeleton called Rewalk, which helps the patients with spinal cord injury to train to walk again. So next, I'm going to talk about technical advances. And the first one I would like to introduce is soft robotics exoskeleton. Recently, exoskeleton advanced from hard rigid materials to soft materials like silicon and fiber reinforced plastic. It uses innovative textiles to create soft interface for users. Its greatest advantages is that whereas joints are unconstrained by external rigid structures. Plus, it is cheaper, lighter, more comfort and portable, which is the key point and the future trend of rehabilitation exoskeleton. And one of the recent research is a soft suit exoskeleton for stroke patient by Rewalk in 2018. Next, we are going to talk about brain machine interference. Brain machine interference is a method advanced from surface EMG as shown on the right and intermuscular EMG electrodes as shown on the left. EMG signals can change due to a variety of factors such as placement, fatigue, and sweat. It is because EMG detects electro signals on skeleton muscles, but BMI can avoid the above problems and is detect users' brain signal directly by EEG technique. Therefore, users can control the exoskeleton robots by using brain activities. Finally, I will talk about quasi direct drive actuation. Quasi direct drive actuation consists of mechanical and electromagnetic elements. It has both gearbox and a brushless DC electrical motor and is designed in order to maximize the advantages from both elements. Unlike conventional actuators, which is high speed but low torque, and is also resistive to human movement, quasi-direct drive has high torque motors but low gear ratio due to its special design. And even though it is lightweight, it has high bandwidth, high torque, and high back drive ability, which is desirable for an exoskeleton actuators. The next part will be about how different global trends can make an impact to the development of exoskeleton robotics. In recent years, the usage of mobile devices and related technologies such as Bluetooth and Wi-Fi become much more popular. Nowadays, these technologies are applied into some exoskeleton robots to adjust certain parameters as needed during treatment or to collect data. For example, one of the inventions, the H2 arms use both Wi-Fi and Bluetooth for the collection and presentation of data. A Wi-Fi connection is used to capture data generated in the exoskeleton. A Bluetooth link connects the exoskeleton to a user interface in a smartphone or laptop. The data will then be shown as a table listing all the clinical outcomes on your mobile devices. This shows how current technology can be applied due to the development of exoskeleton robotics.